Greetings. This morning I'm going to do some maintenance on my insect traps. Previously I had talked about how to make these traps out of pop bottles and what you can use in them. Um, it appears that the lure in my trap is probably getting old. Um, I've got a few fresh flies in here but mostly just old dead flies and so it's time to renew the lure because we got a whole lot more peppers coming on. There you can you can see there is a few living flies in that thing, but not too many. Alrighty, so I have washed my trap out to get out the dead flies, and I have pulled the little fertilizer basket forward here. This is a little snap-on lid basket that's used for uh, fertilizer on orchids. I'm removing the methyl eugenol plug that was in this basket. A little bit of smell to it yet, not much. Next, I have a little package here that says methyl eugenol lure on it. Uh, it's made by Sentry Biologicals in Billings, Montana. Um, now, I imagine you can go straight to the source and probably buy this stuff from them, but I'm also going to suspect that if you do it that way, you're going to have to buy quite a bit of it. This is not a retailer. Okay. Now, the way we get it here in Hawaii is through the Master Gardeners. And uh, there I can buy these for $2 a piece from them. I'm sure they buy them by the caseloads. Alright, so I have opened up my package. I have a little plug right there. Take the plug. Put the plug back in the little basket like that and clip the lid down. Real simple. Not much to it. Mostly just the crummy job of cleaning out all the dead bugs, you know, and all that. Getting around to it, but I believe that this should start to draw a lot more fruit flies. Just in the off chance that this lure may still have a little value, I'm going to toss it in here just so it can smell up the jar for the flies. There we go. Leave it laying right down there in the bottom. There we go. All set up, ready to go. So, right here, I've got a coffee stick. Uh, it's poked into a barrel full of pepper plants. And I'm just going to take the trap like this, wind it around on the end of the stick. Just make sure that the uh, the bottom end of the trap over here is open so the insects can fly in and out. Okay, so that's about all there is to uh, redoing the traps. Now again, this one I have used. Methyl eugenol. Methyl eugenol works on quite a variety of different fruit flies. In my case here in Puna, I'm mostly working with the Chinese fruit fly. This guy is a real pain. Uh, they like to drill into pepper plants. Uh, they will drill into tomatoes. Uh, I've had them drill into citrus on occasion. Um, and they'll go into berries too. These will get into uh, uh, the, the blueberries. They'll get into the blackberries. They will get into grumachamas. Um, I don't know everything that they'll enter, but they're a real pain when it comes to uh, uh, generally small fruits. They like to lay their eggs near the top of the fruit. And uh, if the maggots don't hatch out and devour the fruit on you, then the wounds made by the ovipositor will start an infection and the fruit begins to rot. I had a gentleman uh, asking me about mountain apples recently over on Oahu, and my guess is he had fruit fly stings. Now, you may not actually see the maggots, just the holes themselves made by that fly's ovipositor can get that fruit to start rotting. And they're not really obvious. If you can look really close, you can often see the sting. It'll be a little poke, a little hole in the fruit skin, and then generally a little soft spot around it where the decomposition begins. But you really do have to look close to be able to see these things. Okay, so what we have here again is Q lure. And Q C U E lure again made by Sentry Botanicals in Billings, um, and again can be had at least here in Hawaii by from the Master Gardeners program. 
in Hilo, they have an office up on Komahana. They're only there Monday and Friday, and only for a few hours, but they do have an office here. Okay, so I have opened the package. I have pulled out a brand new fresh plug of the Q-Lure, and I popped it into the little orchid basket here. Again, I'm going to hang on to the old plug just in case there's a little bit of something in it and tossed it back inside the trap here. Pull my basket all the way back in. Insert the uh, bottom of the trap. Ready to go. And hang it right out here on the outside of where the cucumbers are growing. Okay, so I've got some more tomatoes and some cucumbers up front here. And so I'm going to load up one more set of traps with methyl eugenol and Q lure. Right here we have the methyl eugenol. The green gummy bear thingy here. Just put it inside the little basket. Insert the trap. There we go. Ready to rock and roll. Hang it right here. here I have another trap ready. And this one is going to take Q lure to protect my cucumbers. Snap the little door down. There we go. All right, little pickle worm moths, come and get it. Mmm, mmm, tasty stuff. I've cleaned out and set myself up another trap. And I'll put it down the row here with the tomatoes and the peppers. There we go. Well, that's got methyl eugenol in it. Just wanted to let you know that in this trap I'm using a different basket to hold the lure. In this case, it's a regular pill bottle from the pharmacy. It's been drilled out on the sides here. So it's got vents. It's got a hole to hang on to the wire. These work well too, but you have to make them. The uh, orchid fertilizer baskets are ready to go. This is another methyl eugenol lure plug. Put it inside the pill bottle. Snap the cap on. Drop it in there like that, and then insert the bottom of the trap, ready to go. Just like that. And I'm going to hang it right here above my peppers and tomatoes. So there you have it, folks. That's all there is to it. Insect trap maintenance. Periodically, uh, we have to renew the lures in them. Um, you can sort of tell by how well everything is working out, by how many insects are coming in the traps. If your lures are fresh and good, you're going to be getting a lot of them. If the lures are wearing out, you get very few. In my case, uh, lures have been in there now for a few months. I don't quite recall how long, but they are worn out. I am no longer attracting very many insects into the traps. So we refresh them. Uh, this is definitely a high season here. This is summer, and the flies and the moths are absolutely the worst during the summertime. So you want to make sure you get the traps set out there. Um, here in Hawaii, these, uh, this design is going to work really well on a series of different fruit flies. Um, it will also work on some of the pesty moths we have here that eat crops. Uh, they have to be put out uh, ahead of the fruit forming in the crops. And in the case of cucumbers and zucchini, you better have those lures out there before you even put them in the ground because the moths will come legs and the stem and kill your little plants right off. Um, the same design of trap made from the plastic pop bottle uh, using either a pill bottle or an orchid fertilizer basket as the uh, holder for the lure, the same design will work for a wide variety of different insects. I mean, in the mainland, you guys probably don't have much for Chinese fruit flies, all right? Um, you may not even have much for pickle worms. I'm not sure. I know I never had pickle worms in the mainland or Chinese fruit flies, either of them. But there are other creatures, uh, for instance, the codling moth, Ooh, that gets into your apples, your pears, and your walnuts. 
by using the proper pheromone uh, for coddling moth, this trap will work to attract the moths and, and trap them inside. Um, another creature that would be really, really handy for, too, and that's Drosophila uh, suzukii, the, uh, we call it cherry piercer, or it's a fruit piercer. It's a fly not too unlike the Chinese fruit fly we have here. Um, but in the mainland, it really makes a mess out of sweet cherries. Oh, it's horrible. Um, if you're living around the Bay Area, you know this bug because it's terrible in that area. Um, it, it also works uh, against the same fly that lays eggs in blueberries and blackberries on the mainland. Um, occasionally, sometimes raspberry is also attacked by this fly. There's a whole bunch of them. You know, and there's a bunch of different ways you can trap various types of pests, but this basic trap made from a pop bottle is uh, cheap and nearly free. All you do is you lose your recycling value <laughs> when you reuse it as a fly trap. Simple to build, just keep and maintain, but for it to work properly, you need to know what is your insect and then find out what sort of a pheromone or a lure will work on that insect. Um, it beats the heck out of so many other approaches like trying to spray and so on. I much, much prefer trapping my pests. Aloha. You all have a nice weekend. Enjoy your garden.